this idea of a decision support system. What is a decision support system? It's something that uh, that people use to make decisions, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's it's not nothing. It's not a new term. We certainly invented. You know, the uh, the engineers amongst our customer base would be well aware of what a decision support system is, but most you know, the general wider public aren't. But effectively, it's to help us make decisions. And you know, over the over the centuries, uh, probably more so in the last 150 years or so. Um, certain um, industries have, have have come to form a view that it's it's better to use a a system, a, a process that helps um, businesses um, make decisions to to and to um, overcome uh, mistakes that have been made in the past and to create a process that helps make decisions along various parts of a particular. Um, whatever people are trying to do, to a project, say, building a bridge or building a whatever it might be, to make sure they don't make mistakes that they made in the past. And hence, you know, you get new people come into the process um, that might be de decades later. You, you want to instill into those new people uh, immediately the learnings of the past and, and use those uh, and then you know, minimize mistakes, but also make you know, better, better decisions and also you know, avoid the bad decisions. Mm. So that's what a decision support system is. And it's a term that I decided you know, for this uh, for the short book that I wrote to bring that in. It's not a term that I've used um, excessively over the past, but when uh, when looking to use to use a ter terminology that has that has been around you know, for decades and other 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 work walks of life to bring that into into this this domain and so people can can kind of latch onto it if you like and go, okay, I understand what this is. This is what we need with respect to the market as well, which is just you know, you're making decisions all the time to do or not to do something. Mm -hmm. So let's let's mistake minimize the mistakes and and maximize you know, the more um, decisions that are that are that are consistent with what we're trying to achieve. Do you think general retail investors out there are aware of the need for a decision support system? No. Definitely not. Oh, listen, yeah, it's degrees of again. The great majority are not. Uh, definitely not. Um, the most people, um, despite the availability of learning from other industries and other walks of life, very, very seldom. You know, they, they tend to bring all the bad parts of what they learn in the rest of life that isn't applicable to the market, and they leave out the things that 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 they can bring from other walks of life that are highly applicable to the market and they, and they don't bring them along mm -hmm. so they got this 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 uh they got it the wrong way around basically so yeah it's it's um you know effectively what we're trying to do is instill you know, in the moment um a consistency and objectivity that's and that's what we're trying to achieve um and it's not just not applicable to the market it's applicable to just about everything else we do in life as well mm -hmm.